My time in AP Bio was a blast. AP Bio was very educational and interesting. AP Biology was resourceful, challenging, and very rewarding. AP Biology was one of the most rigorous courses I had taken in high school, especially as a sophomore. However, it was one of the most amazing and rewarding classes as well because I got to learn about biology, which I love, and I also got to learn how to be a better student, which has helped me so much in college so far. It was equal parts challenging and exciting. AP Bio is a great way to learn how to think critically. Hi, my name is Thalia and I took AP Biology in 2011. AP Biology helped me pursue a career in the medical field and now I'm a professional surgical tech for a plastic surgeon. I'm a nurse and I also do hair transplants. On top of that, I'm also getting a different degree and hopefully graduating in the summer with a degree in public health. I definitely recommend AP Biology for all those who love science. My name is Johan Lozada. I am a mechanical engineer from UT Arlington. I graduated from WH Adams High School back in 2014. I took Ms. Mesa's class AP Bio in 2012. <laughs> And AP Biology with Ms. Mendes was by far one of the best AP classes that I could have taken. Uh, not only is she very caring, but she's also helpful in making sure that you're always learning and having your questions answered, whether it's during class, before class, or after class. Learning everything from apoptosis to zygotes. Had a great experience. Ms. Mendez, your AP Biology teacher in the future, does a good job of preparing you for the future, allowing for you to actually learn on your own a lot of the times too. But she always pushes you to become the best student that you can and she'll always help you no matter what you can do. Good morning Vikings, this is Mackenzie with your morning news. Students, this is just a reminder that yearbooks are in limited supply. We order a specific amount from the publisher and additional copies will not be available. Only students that order in advance will be eligible to receive a yearbook. We still have a few books left if you are interested. You can hold your copy for as little as $10. Order yours today for Mr. Manali or see a yearbook staff member for details on reserving your copy. This makes a great graduation gift for someone. You can also order online at Balfour.com. And now to Eric with sports. Thanks, Mackenzie. Eric here with sports. Tomorrow, the boys' basketball team has an away game against J.J. Pierce at 5.30. That's all sports news for today. Now to Felipe with our Black History Month segment. Thanks, Eric. Hey, what's up, Vikings? It's Felipe, and welcome back to our Black History Month segment. Today, we'll be going over Nelson Mandela. He was born on July 18, 1918, but died December 5, 2013. He was a South African political leader and philanthropist who served as president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. He was the country's first black head of the state and first elected in a fully representative democratic election. That's all for today, Vikings. Now back to you, Mackenzie. Thanks, Felipe. 
Vikings, we need a new mascot. Tryouts are February 16th through the 19th. If you need more information, contact Mrs. S at the link below or visit her room. And lastly, there will be a pizza party for students with good attendance, so be here every day if you're an in-person learner. And if, if you're not here in person, complete attendance modules on Canvas, and there will be a grab-and-go party on March 10th. That's all the news for today, Vikings. This is Mackenzie, signing off. Please stand for the pledge. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and invisible.